Sim, good evening. Good evening, Laurent. Thank you. Thank you once again to be part of uh, Habano's News. You're very welcome. Thank you for being here again. Um, today I would like to talk to, we, to you about the Habano Festival. Uh, it's a big event. It's the biggest event of the year for the Cigar Aficionado. My question to you is very simple. Once you're there, what can you expect? What is happening? I know that today we receive the uh, agenda for the week. So from what I understand, it's a full week of events. It starts on the Sunday, but the Sunday is uh, usually reserved for the press. So for the Cigar Aficionado, the event starts on a Monday. It's usually the last Monday of the week of February, of the month of February, sorry. Uh, can you tell us exactly what's happening each day? Uh, and I believe it starts on the Monday. So Havano's festival is the world's biggest festival for Cuban cigar lovers and being there, being part of this great festival is a once in a lifetime opportunity and aficionados around the world attend this wonderful uh, celebration. It starts off on Sunday with a wonderful seminar on press world uh, which mostly for the professionals working in the Habanos industry we talk about uh, how much revenue Habanos made, discontinued cigars, new releases, so and so on and on. Monday is the official inauguration of the Habanos Festival in the afternoon. So it happens in uh, Palco, Hotel Palco. It is a conference center. It's a conference center. It's located just outside uh, Havana, the, cent the historical center of Havana. It's about 20 minutes drive. I That's correct. That's correct. So. Uh, this day is the day of uh, exhibition opening uh, where you are able to see the newest releases together with the other exclusive products in the world. At that moment, for instance, you will have cigars of different concept. Year of uh, Chinese New Year, you will have a limited edition, you have standard production, all new cigars, exceptional cigars. It will be on display on the shelf. You can put your hands on it. It's completely locked into the shelf. It's beautiful to see, wonderful to watch. Um, the Habanos Corps President will inaugurate officially the Habanos Festival in the afternoon. In the morning of the same day, we will have the Habanos World Challenge kicks off. And that's uh, one of the major part of the Habanos Festival is Habanos World Challenge, where the Habanos aficionados around the world uh, team up uh, as the two members representing each country compete for the world title of the Lanus World Challenge. That happens in the morning as a preliminary round. The day is finishing there with a wonderful lunch in the same place. You will have cigars during all the time. So when you enter to the Lanus World Challenge, you have a cigar. Uh, also for the lunch, you have a cigar. In the evening is one of the biggest program. It's the inaugural night of Habanos Festival. Uh, there will be a protagonist brand cigar will be released on that day. You will be getting a gift from Habanos. Uh, you have the passes ready at that time. This year is different. Back in the time, you have the physical pass in your hand. Yeah, they gave you an envelope. That's correct. You had to queue up at the beginning, register, and you don't have to pay for the whole event. Every activity, you can choose uh, each and every activity. So you can just attend the Monday evening You can dinner. choose. Our recommendation can... is to attend yes, everything. Of course. Because you don't want to miss uh, the major uh, understanding on the cigar world. Because I don't think that you can miss anything during this one week program. I agree with you for one reason. It's the first time I, I went, I missed some events. I only did uh, a few of them. I didn't do the gala evening on the first on the first time. Um, I was there, and I, I, I regret it because it's a full week. So when you go to a place and you haven't been, uh, for example, yeah, you meet the people on the Wednesday and you haven't been to uh, the, the visit of the plantation on the Tuesday, then people talk about it and you haven't been there, so you feel left alone. And it's a it's a one week program. I, I agree with you. It's Take, you know, do it all or, or don't. Absolutely, you travel hundreds and hundreds of kilometers from different parts of the world. You don't want to miss anything happens during that week. And Monday is the inaugural night, so uh, it mostly uh, it is all about 
friendship it's about connection with people around the world the first day you greet see the people you miss during all this time and social media and, and all uh, it happens outdoor um, it's in a historical beer factory where uh, Cuba makes uh, wonderful beers the major beer brands Bucanero and Cristal will be the, the uh, free-flowing uh, aspect on that night it's outdoor and that's that's happening on Monday yes the Monday you first you go to the conference center you have many things you I mean I'm like a kid when I'm go when I go there I run around I see you can see the new cigars you can see the new accessories you can buy a guayabera you can taste some rum you the, it's a, it's just like a big sweet shop for chat absolutely it's everything wonderful. about cigars you will yeah. have cigar accessories uh, cigar bands historical cigar bands you can actually buy them uh, from the guys who collect it they resell it uh, it's pretty much like uh, this um, um, it's like you know, a market. Market, yeah. yeah. It's like a market. You have everything in there. Yes. Uh, you can buy Panama hats and many, many things. We don't know. Uh, maybe this Humidos, year there is many things. Yes. Humidos. So there could be many things happening this year. We don't know. Exactly. On the Monday, you go around. You talk to people. You look at what they have for sale. You look at the new cigar. You taste some some uh, some rum. You can taste some wine as well because some people come from Italy and, and Spain um, to present their wines. And then there's the evening. This evening gets you in the bus for the week. It is a big event. It kicks off in style. Yes. Uh, you get free cigars, oh. lots of music. The Cubans know the Cubans know how to party. And this Monday night get, gets you into the mood for the whole week. That's good. But you cannot miss the next day morning. This is very important. You can party as much as you want on Monday. But you have to wake up. You have to wake up early. Uh, 7 7.30, 8 o'clock, uh, the bus leaves from your hotel uh, to directly to Vuelta Abajo, Pina del Rio, so for the wonderful trip to the Habanos plantations. So it's what, uh, two hours? More or less drive. two hours journey. Yeah. And uh, during the journey, you will have a Havana tour guide in the bus. Uh, not just cigars, uh, he gives you, he or she gives you a wonderful understanding on the history of Cuba. Uh, on the route you will be able to see some monuments and you speak about it so if you don't know much about Cuba you will educate yourself during this trip so it's not a boring trip of two hours where you know uh, many many times it happens that everybody's like can we smoke in the bus so this is one of the questions always arrives of course we have to respect um, you know it's a air-conditioned beautiful bus or Havana tour we can't smoke in the bus no. Yeah, it's uh, a little respect there. When you land in Pinar del Rio, you can smoke as much as you want. So yes. uh, you will start to see the Pinar in a different color, more green than a usual Cuba. Cuba yeah. is uh, literally green, and yeah. in Pinar you f you feel see a different vibe. So you will be in plantation. Uh, there you are seeing two different kind of plantations mostly. Uh, one is the sun grown plantation and the shade grown plantation and uh, how the processing of the first few steps of the tobacco in the barn and then later cured uh, then it goes to despaillos where uh, the leaves are a little bit more stripping houses where you remove the central vein of the tobacco uh, all these uh, all these are happening in the plantation side except the factory uh, whatever leaves are reaching the factory there's a different process uh, every process before the factory you will see so the buses, fermentation the fermentation also because yeah. uh, it goes through two fermentations for uh, usual cigars except Cohiba which goes three fermentations so you will be able to see if you are visiting in the factory on Thursday to Cohiba you'll be able to see the third fermentation as well we don't know which factory Sabanos chooses every year it's uh, completely uh, up to Habanos which uh, plantations and which factories they will take you and that happens on Tuesday in the it's it's a long journey you will come back to your hotel or your accommodation a little late afternoon you are free that night you can hang out with your friends uh, new friends you made during this uh, trip on the bus on the bus you can hang out see a little bit of Havana go for a wonderful uh, aperitivo later a wonderful dinner uh, see Havana in the nightlife then you can visit the Casa de Urbano this is, because one of the best part is that 
every hotel will have a La Casa Lavana. Yeah. In Cuba, so, Havana is the city in the world where you have the most Casa de Lavana. That's correct. That's correct. So you have uh, literally every hotel have La, La Casa Lavana. And every La Casa Lavana is different than the other because you may always find a gem which is not in the other shop. Exactly. So, so this is a hunt. You have to go around. You have to ask people where do you eat tonight, what you do, where to eat. Uh, and then you usually end up sitting in a nice sofa like this one, smoking a cigar. We are in La Casa, so... We are in La Casa de la Habana. So you, you get a vibe about it. We are in La Casa de la Habana in JBR in Dubai. This is where you, you work for the local distributor. That's where. Of, uh, so this is our home. Of Habanos. And this you cannot miss if you come to Dubai, you have to come here and visit. This is a little Cuba here. So that's Tuesday uh, and Wednesday morning it's um, intermediate night and international seminar. Uh, there you have uh, understanding on pairings mostly and also... Question for you. Yes. When do you learn how to ro roll your own cigar? That happens on Wednesday. Ah. So in the morning uh, you have, you can enter to this uh, massive auditorium where one of the most popular uh, Habanos Torcedor, uh, Torcedora uh, will be presenting and teaching you how to roll your own cigar. Imagine, you are going to learn how to roll your own cigar. And believe me, most of you are going to be very humble at the end of this exercise because it takes a long time to know how to roll a cigar like this one. It takes years to master this art. It changes your perspective exactly. on how you look at a cigar after you roll your own cigar exactly. and you understand that it's sometimes it's not smokable, sometimes it's too much smoke, yes. it does not look straight, it can be crooked, you don't know, you know, yes. it the takes question, years. The question you have to ask yourself, would you pay for the cigar you roll? <laughs> would you give it to your best friend? And so on Tuesday you visit the plantation, you meet the people who work very hard all year round to make the tobacco ready to be rolled. Then on Wednesday, you learn how to roll your cigars. So Tuesday, Wednesday, you learn a lot of things. By the end of Wednesday, you should know and understand how, the, how it goes. You go from the seed to the tobacco ready to be rolled. And at the end of Wednesday, you should know how to roll your own Cigar. Absolutely. You will have Habanos Torcedoras helping you how to put uh, the filler and the binder and in the end uh, the wrapper. So they will help you to get your own cigar. You will also get a chaveta, uh, the, the beautiful knife yeah. very, uh, as a souvenir. You can take it home. Uh, many many of our friends say that, oh, this belongs to Habanos. No, it's yours. It's yours. You will get a wooden uh, hound as well as a chaveta where you can take home as a souvenir. Yes, you get presents during the whole oh. event. Everywhere you go, you get a cigar. Here you get this. At the end of the gala, you get also some presents. So that shows you how much the Cuban people, how generous they are, is because, do it because during the whole event, you have presents. Absolutely. It, it, every, every, every day you go out, uh, you have your Habanos bag because uh, Habanos always give you a black bag. Uh, at the beginning, yes, the beginning. registration. So you will have that bag, and the end of the evening, it's always full, from cigars to chavetas to you name it, souvenirs and things you buy. And that's uh, Wednesday. You also have international seminar where you have uh, partners of Habanos present the parents. So you have Havana Club will be having a seminar of an hour. Uh, so does Chianti or Cognac brands. This it's, happens on international seminar. It's a bit like university or school. You have a class at that time, you have another class at that time. So there are different events happening during the day. Yeah, Monday yeah. you will receive uh, a booklet where you know exactly what's happening in the international seminar or in the rest of the days where it's, it's clearly mentioned. So and so time will be this. In this room? In this room. And then this and this in this other room. So Absolutely. you can organize your day. Yes. And so Monday you have an evening, uh, the opening evening, the. <laughs> <clears throat> on Tuesday, nothing in the evening, uh, you can go out. Wednesday night, there's also a big event. So you rolled your cigar during the day. You can take it to the evening. You can, you can actually try you to smoke try it. Try to smoke it. A lot of us 
have failed. Um, so you, you end up, it's a new uh, event. Once again, you go there, you have free cigars to try. Can you tell us? A so bit more? Uh, uh, it's, uh, there are three brands, we call it protagonist brands uh, during the festival. Uh, this year is uh, Bolivar, Monte Cristo, and Patagas. So the first night, Habanos will present a particular new release. And on the Wednesday, you will have another new release. And the final in the gala, you will have a new release. So you will be able to taste these new cigars. You will get a souvenir and also a cigar to smoke, the same cigar which you are having the souvenir. So you don't have to think about, oh, my souvenir, how can I smoke it now? Souvenir is souvenir. You can take it home. And then they will give you an additional cigar for you to taste it then and there if you feel it. And that happens on uh, every night uh, during the festival. So Wednesday is intermediate night. Uh, you have wonderful food. It's uh, outdoor and indoor, unlike the first day, because first day is everything is outdoor. Uh, it's really relaxing. So people come in Guayaveras, casual, uh, easy going. You don't have to uh, wear a tuxedo on uh, Monday. Intermediate night, a little bit uh, smart casual, let's say. And uh, the festival is always with good music, great food, a lot of cigars and great friendship. Uh, yes, I mean it's a party. It's a real party. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's happy. A lot of us, especially this year, haven't been. Um, there has hasn't been a festival for since 2020. 20. So it's been three years. A lot of people are catch up. It was happy. a small event in September last year for the Cohiba yes. only. Yes. Uh, but that's not considered as the big Cabanos festival. festival. Okay. So that is uh, Thursday night and. Uh, Wednesday night. Sorry, it's Wednesday night. And what's happening on Thursday? So Thursday you have to wake up early again. Uh, you are going to the factories. So Habanos will choose a particular one or two factories. And you will be able to visit uh, these factories. And whatever you finish learning about preparation of tobacco, the finishing of the tobacco of a cigar happens in the factories. So blending and then rolling. So you already know how the cigars are roll because you learned that on Wednesday. All the tobacco is made. How on tobacco Tuesday. is made. And then Thursday you are seeing it uh, in front of your eyes. The professionals are making it, uh, keeping different uh, leaves, filler, binder and wrapper. And you see rolling, the blending, uh, finish. You will see also boxing and finishing the cigar with the anillas. In the end, uh, you, will, you will see all the process of a Havana starting from the seed to the box so it's a treasure world uh, you don't miss anything here there is a Havana tool guide uh, to explain uh, different process of uh, a Havana making and that's happened on Thursday and it, it finishes around uh, little afternoon lunch you can always go back to the convention center and grab uh, a lunch because the lunch is served during all day and by the way the lunch is also having a cigar when you enter ah so, so don't, don't miss, miss lunch the, at least you go don't there take lunch. a cigar and go yes have a lunch don't somewhere. miss lunch <laughs> have a quick lunch and then go around again have a taste of the different uh, uh, spirits or, or, or wines on offer have a look you always find something new something interesting to see you'll meet some people um, so that's Thursday. That's Thursday. And then the final day of the week is Friday. Friday um, is big. You know, you need to have a lot of energy on Friday. It's the last day of the week uh, for the festival. And uh, it kicks off with, uh, kicks off with uh, Havana's World Challenge Final. So on Monday, uh, all over the world, they compete against each other. The best two teams win and they go to their final. And yes. you can watch live. Uh, the whole process of Havana's World Challenge. You're going to learn a lot of things. Absolutely. You're going to meet people who have great knowledge and they're cigar aficionados, they're not professional. We are going to uh, make a video about the Havana's World uh, Challenge because it's very, very, very interesting and important for people who want to know more, uh, go deeper into the knowledge uh, of how cigar is made, uh, what the different vitolas are, uh, how to cut, how to light, uh, how to pair. And there is a great journey to be made. I know you, you train people here in the UAE. Uh, to I do attend. my best and, to. And if I'm not mistaking, the people you train uh, recently won 
the Abanos World Challenge. They are good. Uh, they did not need my training or anything. They, they are no, 2020. No. You need a good coach. You need a good coach. <laughs> the good coach uh, is someone who stays behind, but is there and teaches and uh, helps. And uh, it's very important. Everybody needs a good coach, even Nadal. Um, so that's Friday, and at the end of the day, this is. You also have on Friday, on the lunch time, you will be the award ceremony of various categories. Uh, they normally do the closing of the festival. So the Habanos Co students will come and they officially close the festival that happens on Friday afternoon. And also they give awards, certificates to people in different parts. Mostly happens for the Habanos professionals uh, in the factories, uh, the people who work in the communication, etc. etc. And officially the festival is closed. So if you wanted to grab something from the exhibition side, a Panama hat or a Guevara or a cigar cutter or a lighter, uh, something to see, watch, take pictures, you gotta do it uh, before Friday because immediately after closing the festival, they all leave. They pack everything and they leave. Uh, that happens on Friday afternoon. You go back to your accommodation, uh, get ready for the big night, wearing your best jacket, your wonderful papillon, uh, getting ready for the tax night, black tie night. So the Friday evening is the best evening of uh, the Habanos festival. When you enter, you have a wonderful gift from Habanos, uh, where you have the cigars of the protagonist brands of that night as a souvenir. The same cigars will come to your table uh, by a beautiful woman, uh, send it to you one by one, and you can taste it and enjoy this new release of that particular brand. And also, uh, you have the greatest moment of a look on the Subasta auction humidors. Yes, when you come in, yes, when you when come you, in, when you enter, when you a enter, few, few minutes. All the tables are there, tables of 10, I believe, or eight yes. or 10. Yeah, you know where you're sitting, that you, you know, in advance. Then on your right hand side, you have all the huge humidors that are going to be auctioned during the night. So you can have your picture taken there. It's a great moment. You can see those pieces of art. It's true. Art costs millions. Yeah. Uh, it's the, the most expensive cigar in the world. 500, 500 to 550 cigars, uh, reaching up to more than 2.5 million uh, dollars. And you will witness the great auction on that night. Uh, of sometimes it's five, six, depends on the night, you will have humidors in the auction. This is the last part of the evening. Uh, the evening starts off with a great celebration, music, art, ballet, um, uh, live singing, food, rum, a beautiful bottle of rum comes to your table, you're sharing it with the 10 of your friends, and uh, in the end is the auction. Uh, the auction is the highest fee of uh, El Havano, where you feel and understand how people take in their heart. You're ready to spend uh, more than 2.5 million dollars for 550 cigars. That's nearly what, 5,000 to 6,000 dollars a cigar? Yes, 5,000 dollars for one stick. This is very impressive. There you have Hi, great collectors. You have people coming there from different countries and they are there to buy this particular piece. Uh, and it's like a monument. It's something you can put in your lounge, it's in your house. Uh, and it's a great feel because yes. this money does not go to the business, you know. The money you spend on these humidors are going back to the Cuban health system where you help the Cuban uh, citizens, the Cuban government, to give aid, help to the world of health in Cuba. So this is a great feel for the aficionados or the collectors spend their money on. It's not just going to Havana business and then they're making money out of it. No, no. It's, it's a, a charity. It's a charity. It's a charity. It's a charity. It's so you charity. feel good, you spend money, you buy expensive cigars, most of them are unique, but at the same time you help sick people. It's crazy unique. Yes. In a humidor of such nature, you will be able to enjoy cigars which is discontinued, yes. limited editions of previous years, uh, something exclusive which you never can buy. Yes. Uh, and you will probably never see again. Never see again. Yes. So that's the event. The evening you get wrong, the party stops, uh, finishes very late, and then that's the end. 
you go back to your hotel and then you can start you can pr pr uh, organize your departure back to your home on the Saturday or the Sunday my mm, question for you is how do you organize your trip uh, you need to register you need to plan your ticket uh, your flight and you need to plan your accommodation so um, from what I understand to register you go through your local distributor which is the company distributing the cigars in your country uh, so for example uh, in uh, Switzerland can be in Tatabak here in the UAE it's uh, Bakem Mohabi uh, so people will uh, you go to your shop if you don't know the distributor go to your local shop and ask them who is the distributor uh, can I register for the um, Abano Fest, Abano Fest, Abano Festival and then uh, once you get your registration the cost is around 3250 this year dollars uh, once you register you need to plan your ticket uh, the ticket you need to fly most of the time unless unless you live in Cuba um, and then so you Air France is flying direct Turkish Airline is flying direct not every day um, Iberia the Spanish Airline is flying directly so, so if you're coming from a different country you got to catch those flights uh, at least two flights are there from countries like UAE or from China I don't know yeah China Airlines flying there yeah. I think uh, Copa Airlines from Panama is flying there too there might be other airlines like Mex Aero Mexico but you have to check um, once you get your ticket and book in advance because there are thousands of people going That's and correct. the flights uh, the are seats are, are selling very very quickly this week your prices of those seats going to Havana they know so its prices are high yes more than the prices you probably don't get the seats in each class mm -hmm. so if you're planning to go in the business class you probably won't have enough seats so you yeah. want to catch it immediately before so prepare in advance is the best yeah. registrations can happen later but yeah. book your tickets and accommodation faster yeah. if you have problems in uh, booking these uh, Havana Tour is an official partner of Anos and they can help you in choosing the right accommodation for you based on your budget and they also can help you in travel mostly for the countries coming from the Latin American world okay yeah Renato is a local is the state-owned company That's right. travel agency in Cuba contact them by email they will help you there are two kinds of accommodation you can stay in a hotel uh, it's usually around the 200 up to 500 dollar a night even more if you can get a suite in the Kempinski uh, or you can stay in a Casa Particular, you can book it uh, on Airbnb or through contacts. Um, and this costs you between $20, $30 up to $60 a night. And it's a good way to stay with the Cuban family in their house and, uh, feel, in Cuba, and feel in Cuba from the food. day you arrive and then discover how kind and great Cuban people are and uh, make you feel uh, welcome and they will, good, they will give you good tips about uh, how to book a taxi, how to get to one, to one area or, or another, visit uh, the old town. Uh, it's also good to book, uh, you can use TripAdvisor to book your guide. It's great to, to, to book a guided tour. So um, once everything is uh, booked and you have your travel, you're good to go. You're you have good one to important go. aspect which is the visa to Cuba. Uh, you have to check, uh, depends on the country you travel from. Uh, you need a visa in Cuba. Uh, some countries are exempted, but some countries, you know, sometimes people think that, oh, I come from this country, I don't need a visa. Even Europeans, they need, uh, a visa. They need a visa. It's, it's not complicated, you don't need to go to the embassy. Yes. You have to find the, go online, check, but it's usually a piece of paper. And now from uh, 2020 or 21, you need to register online as well. So go online, uh, ask your distributor, they will help you. They will tell you how to get this. It's usually uh, around 20, 30, $50, depending on where you are to get this piece of paper. And online you register, it's like ESTA in the US. You register online and say, I'm going to be there. Uh, these are my details and I'm going to arrive on that day. That's correct. So you have your visa, you have your ticket, you have your accommodation ready, you have your registration. Pack your bags. Pack your bags and don't bring, uh, don't bring uh, chorizo, don't bring ham, don't bring meat, don't bring uh, uh, this kind of stuff because uh, it's forbidden. In Cuba, it's an island, they don't want to have disease coming from meat. 
so they will take it at the custom. So uh, pack your bag, bring your best clothes for the Friday night, and you're ready. Jasim, thank you very much An honor. Thank you so for much. this information and I hope to see you at the Abanos uh, Festival uh, and uh, on many other occasions. Wonderful. Thank you for having me and we look forward for you to be part of this great festival, if not this year, in the coming years. See you soon. See you soon.